Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about an easy problem from lead code. The problem name is maximum population year. So you are given a 2D integer array logs where each log is a starting like the birth and end of a particular person like you can say the ith person. So you can assume there is a town and you have some logs like where the, like when a particular ith person is born and when that person is like dead. So the population of some year x so at any year x the population is the number of people alive in that area okay and you can check it from the logs so you just have to tell that what is the area like the first area like not area the first year in which there are maximum people living that's the whole problem now you are you might be saying that how you can check it out so let's say that this person is alive from 2013 to 2009 not 2013 1993 to 1999 as well as this person is alive from 2000 to 2010 so you will just check that like at which time maximum people are alive okay that's the whole problem okay so how you can check it out there can be multiple ways the very brute force way i can think of is because uh, there are at most 100 logs at and at most also year is also in a very uh, finite amount so what you can directly do in a very brute force way is that I want to give some answer as an year. Okay, so the year will go from 1950 to 2050. So check every year. Okay, take every year. Let's say my first is okay, how many people are alive in 1950. Now you can check it out. For every year, iterate over this logs array and check that whether this person is alive between nine, like whether this person is alive at 1950. How you can check it out? The the logs is given that it like this person is alive from 1950 to 1961. So if this person, the 1950, lies between the like the birth and death of this person, then that person will be alive at 1950. So for every year, you can check out for this person that whether that person is alive for every year, like this year. So 1950, how many persons are alive? 1951, how many persons are alive? So you have to do an O of n over this array for every year from 1950 to 2050 okay and just check it out uh, at which is the very first year at which most of the people are alive that's the whole solution but can we do something better yes we can because the whole problem revolves around that i have some range okay that person is alive from this to this so why not create some sort of ranges and just like combine them out and find out uh, like for what range it is maximized so what I'm trying to say is that we will be using uh, cumulative sums here. So what, what we're trying to do is let's say that just make an array, a very large array from let's say 1950 to 2050. Okay. So every block will denote one of the years like this. Every block will denote one of, one of the years like this. Now let's say one of the persons is alive from this year. I'm not renoting every year, let's say, because it will be very large array. But let's say this person is live at 1952 and it goes till this that is 1999. So this is the segment this person is alive. Maybe some other person is alive from this part to this part. Some other person is alive from this part to this part and so on. So there are different segments. Okay. Every person will be alive on this number line of years. Now what you can do is like whenever this person is alive from this part to this part you can update every year by one so you can initialize everything to zero like every year this like there is no person alive at this particular point now this person will be alive from this to this year so for every year you understand that there will be one incremented because that person will be alive from this to this segment so instead of incremented one one every time it will be again making it it o of n you can just do that i will do in a very later stage but i will mark that this person will be alive from this part so mark this block as one and this person will be die at this point let's say so it mark it at minus one it is a very standard type of uh, approach and what we do is that we will start the marking at which the like the segment start to be one and if you want to like fill all the values between this segment okay with a singular value i'll just mark the very start with the plus value and the very end with the minus value of the same number so it is one so minus one if it is if it is two that two and minus two so what we're trying to do is that i want to update this whole segment with one but i will not be doing it currently because if i do currently every for every range it will be o of n into o of n so o of n square 
but i will not be doing that what i'll do is i'll just update this o of one like one at the very beginning and one at the very end now i will do this for every person like this person will be uh, like alive from this area to this area the other person will alive from this area to this area so minus one or maybe some this one to this minus one so i will be now filling out the whole array with ones and minus ones if two ones land on the same point i will just add them so that two persons like uh uh, what you can say born at this particular point so start the journey at this so two and minus one and so on so now my every array is consisting of some numbers now what i'll do is i will iterate over this whole array from left to right and keep on adding these numbers out because what i actually just mean is that keep on adding one 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 and minus one means that now this person will be ending like any person will be ending so now don't add my like one so now make it zero 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 hope you get the point so if there are two so not add two like two people are here two people here and then one people died so now one 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 only is left now one people also died so now zero 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 so this defines out how many people are live and we will only do one o of n operation from left to right in which i will be updating out how many people are alive at that particular point in that segment and the end we just maximize that so it will be done in o of n only by just iterating over this whole uh, like years array instead of like doing it for every year and just checking out o of n so it becomes very uh, easy for now so let uh, so we will be doing o of n for iterating over the logs array to update this one and minus one and then again iterate over this whole to o of n to find out the maximum value in the initial case it was nested o of n into o of n now it is only o of n so it is a very uh, very great time complexity uh, optimization so what we are trying to do is in this code is that we have created out a population pop population array of 3000 because the array goes from let's say 1950 to 2050 so i will create a very large array of till 3000 okay just taking some buffer values as well now iterate over this logs array and wherever the first value whenever that person bonds out that is i of zero increment that value by one and whenever that person dies decrement that value by one so we have this now like for every person those logs i have like any like uh, set those values in this population array okay now i want to maximize this so this is maximum and the year at which they funded the maximum so i will store this in here so i will start from 1950s to 2050 i will just so what we are trying to do is we are trying to do a prefix sum we are trying to try to form a cumulative sum you can say okay so pop of i the current i is the i minus one value because we are like whatever is the previous person we just take this and add it to the current value so what we are trying to do is here is that we are trying to find out what is the current person living in this particular year okay and just maximizing this value if you find out one more maximum value we'll just update the year and maximize the pop population and that is how we can just get it out and then uh, like return the year so it is uh, now becomes very simple it is now becoming o of n approach only instead of just doing an o of n square approach that's the overall and the space complexity also so this is like the space storing out a constant amount of vector for that so if you're just assuming it for like varying length of vector for different sizes so it's it will be o of n but i have created it a constant so it will be o of n as well but i can say it it o of one also because we have created a constant size vector so whatever you can say so it will it will be an o of n you can so that's the overall uh logic and the code part the time of city and space complexity as well for this problem thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one till i keep coding and bye